Second and eight. Big hole over the left side and a spin move by Rolls to net the first down. <laughs> and yet, a lot of talk on the field. Meanwhile, you got Rolls, who's able to keep on going. McLean had him stopped a couple of yards past the line of scrimmage, but that didn't stop him, and he picks up a first down. He saw Thomas Davis. He's going crazy out there. He thought he saw Thomas Rawls flinch, and he did. Pretty good bluff there by Rawls, like it was all part of some signal. And basically, Davis kind of threw himself out of position by trying to get the call. Carolina eight. Rawls. Lots of space and room. Touchdown, Seattle. Watch the quickness of this cut over here. Is exactly what I was talking about with Thomas Rawls. Just electric and no way that Shaq Thompson could catch him from there. That's the sort of elite quickness that could really make a difference for this Seattle running game and their offensive line as they try and get some of that forward push. Carolina is 29th in pass defense this year. Rawls fighting his way to the 41 yard line. What a run as the run back here sets him up at the 43 yard line. Big hole for Rawls, and Rawls fights his way for a first down. Air of Rawls as well. Here's Rawls again to the outside. Rawls inside the 30, inside the 10, touchdown Seattle. Man, <laughs> what a cut that was. That's 45 yards and into the end zone. His second touchdown of the night. Watch Thomas Davis right in the middle of this thing just knows he's coming right up and so is it right around there for the touchdown. I mean this is that, that is a lateral full speed cut that completely fooled everybody on the defense and that's some of the quickness that we saw in practice a year ago and now here he goes again. Marshawn Lynch is missed but this guy was the leading rusher a season ago. And another 15 minutes down the road would be SeaTac International. Look at this guy go again. Rolls to the 38 yard line, and he's already over 100 tonight. A stunningly good night tonight for this offensive line. George Fant, the former basketball player, now playing tackle with a nice play. Mark Lowinski, probably the second best offensive lineman up there, and there's the best offensive lineman, Justin Britt, the center, missed last week. And it really left the state of confusion and no confusion now. Tom Cable taking a right and a left from Pete Carroll.